Continuing coverage tonight after Wright State's win against Bryant in the NCAA tournament. That's right. We're going to go back out to Dayton 24-7 now. Andre Johnson, who is at UD Arena, breaking down how the team walked away with a win. Andre. Yeah, guys, much was made coming into this game about how the Wright State Raiders were going to slow down the nation's leading scorer, Brian's Peter Kiss. But apparently not enough people on the Bulldog side thought about how they were going to slow down Wright State's best scorer, guard Tanner Holden. Holden dropping 37 points and grabbing 11 rebounds tonight, and Wright State needed each and every one of those points. Grant Basile only shot 6 for 19 from the floor, which is a very slow game for him. Trey Calvin did score 21 points, but after the game, Coach Nagy told us that he was feeling pretty sick and actually threw up in the locker room after the game. Now the Bulldog side, Peter Kiss only scored 28 points tonight, which sounds like a lot, but you got to consider that it took him 25 shots to get there. It was a very inefficient night, mainly because of the defensive prowess of Tim Finke. After the game, Coach Nagy talked about his defensive guard, and he called him the team's MVP, saying that the reason that they won tonight was because he was able to bother Peter Kiss early and often. Tim made his job pretty tough. I mean, he's a good offensive player, obviously. You lead the nation in scoring. Um, but Tim, Tim made him work for everyone. Uh, there's a couple that weren't that he got that weren't on Tim, just some bad miscues um, defensively for us. But Tim's a fantastic defender. We've, we've known that all year, um, and he showed that tonight. He, he made him work for it. He is a handful. I mean, he is an absolute handful, and he has complete freedom, and it's a tough guard. And, uh, you know, he obviously got help from people, but it was primarily his responsibility. And, and uh, you know, everybody that, that w on our team would tell you that Tim is our guy, and if we could ever get everybody to Tim's level, we'd be in ph phenomenal defensively. And guys, there is no rest for the weary tonight. The Wright State Raiders leaving the arena and going straight to the airport to fly to San Diego for their next game against top-seeded Arizona on Friday.